Hello guys, in this tutorial we'll tell you how to add store future to your app. The store future helps you create an amazing mobile app for your online store. With this feature you can add all your products in the app, allowing users to purchase products from anywhere at any time. Once you have successfully tested the demo app, click on edit to add the store future to your app. In my future section, click on view all and search store. Click on the future to add it to your app. This is your future name if you want. You can change it as per your needs. From here you can change the future icon. If you want you can select a solid icon or outline icon or an image from our library or upload your own custom icon. You can even upload two different images for mobile app and website. Now let's move to the content section. Click on add product. You'll be redirected to store dashboard. Here you have multiple options such as Test your app on device from where you can get the test link and test your store feature on your Android and iOS device. Add products from where you can directly add the products to your store app. Get set to ship from where you can set up your shipping services and methods. Set up payment from where you can set up your desired payment methods in the app. In store performance, you can check the number of visitors, confirm orders, total orders, and revenue on a daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly basis. You can even see the exact number of orders, products, and categories under store statistics. Next comes product tab. Here you will see manage product, product attributes, product categories, product filtering, product reviews, and brands. Next comes orders, orders tab. Here you will see four options, store orders, abandoned cart, return request orders, and cancel request orders. In store orders section, you can manage all your orders. Here you can also check the orders details, order date, order ID, order name, status, payment status, billing address, shipping address, and total. You can also perform necessary action for the order from here. You can change the order status, payment status, as well as delete the order. In abandoned cart section, you can manage all the orders that are currently in the abandoned cart. Using the data, you can target those users, share the coupon codes from here, and try converting them into potential customers. The coupon code that you share will be automatically applied at the checkout. In return request section, you can manage all the orders requesting for return. You can accept or reject them from here. In cancel request section, you can manage all the orders requesting cancellation. You can accept or reject them from here. Next up, promotion tab. Here you can add, edit, or manage all your store coupons. Click on create coupon code to add a coupon. Here provide all the details like coupon name, coupon code, discount type, coupon condition, and coupon validity. In discount type, when you select percentage, you need to provide a discount value. That is the percent of discount that will be applicable on the products. Similarly, you need to provide a value in fixed amount which will be applied to products. You can even choose the option of free shipping as discount type. Here you have two options. You can either apply free shipping in all regions or you selected countries and states. In coupon condition, you will see three options, all products, specific categories, and specific products. You can choose the one as per your needs. If you choose all products, the coupon will be applicable on all products. In specific categories, you need to select the category for which you want this coupon to work on. Similarly, for specific products, you need to enter the product name. In coupon validity, you can set the start and end date of the coupon. Next is limit usage per customer. On enabling this option, you need to provide the value that resembles the number of times a user will be able to use this coupon. Next up, minimum car value for coupon application. On turning on this option, you need to provide the minimum value that is users need to have products of at least this much value to use this coupon. Last but not least, limit total of number of customers in coupon. On switching this option on, you need to provide a value that resembles the number of customers who will be able to use this coupon. Once you are done, click on save to continue. You will see the coupon has been added. Here you can check coupon details such as coupon name, coupon code, discount, validity, and number of uses. From here you can enable or disable the coupon. 
If you want to make changes to the coupon, open the cogwheel menu and click on edit. From here you can also delete the coupon. Last but not least, settings. Here you will see multiple options. One, first in general settings, here you will see common settings of the store features such as store name, TIN number, email, contact number, support email, support contact number, store currency, minimum amount, order, and store address. If you want, you can change them from here. You can even change the default store image as well as store regions of operation. Next is store settings. Here you will see multiple settings such as brands to be displayed in store, review and rating, wish listings, show price on listings, sorting, filters and coupons. You can enable or disable them as per your needs. In review and rating, you have certain other options like auto approval of reviews, allowing users to review products once they have purchased it, and product review emails once the user has purchased the products. You can enable or disable them as per your needs. On turning on wish listing, your users will be able to add products to their wish list. You can even provide the order number sequence from here. In payment settings, you can add the type of payment through which you want to accept payment the customers that is in cash, on delivery, credit card, PayPal, etc. Under tax settings, you can add, edit, or manage all the applicable states and country tax rules. Click on add new tax rule. Here you need to provide the rule name and select the rule type that is fixed or percentage. You need to also select the country and enter the country rate. If there is any state tax, you can manage them by enabling this option. Then you can select the state and enter the state rate. Once done, click on save to continue. You will see the tax rule has been added. Under action, you can change the status, edit or delete the tax rule. Next comes shipping settings. Here you can set up and manage your shipping methods. Click on add new shipping rule. Here you need to enter the name of the shipping rule. Now select the region and state where you want the shipping rule to be applicable. Last but not least, select the rate that is free shipping, flat rate, rate by distance, or rate by weight. If you select free shipping, you need to provide the estimate delivery time. In flat rate, you need to provide estimated delivery time as well as the rate applicable. You also have two options, set rate for final car value and free shipping above certain car value. You can enable or disable them the way you want. In set rate for this final car value, you need to provide the range and rate that is the shipping rate that will be applicable for the particular range. You can add multiple ranges and rates here. In free shipping above certain car value, you need to define the value above which you are offering free shipping. In rate by distance, you need to enter estimated delivery time, distance range, and rate that will be applicable based on the distance from the store. In this, you can also allow free shipping above certain car value. Just enter the amount and you are good to go. In rate by weight, you need to enter estimated delivery time, weight range, and rate that will be applicable based on the weight of the product defined. In this, you can al also allow free shipping above certain car value. Just enter the amount and you are good to go. Once you are done, click on save to continue. You will see the shipping rule has been added. Here, under action, you can change the status, edit or delete the shipping rule. In miscellaneous tax setting, you can add, edit, manage other miscellaneous tax rules. Click on add new miscellaneous tax rule. Here you need to provide a few details such as tax name, tax type, tax amount and country. Once done, click on save to continue. You will see the tax rule has been added. Here, you, under action, you can change the status, edit, or delete the tax rule. Under language settings, you can see all the text alerts appearing in your store future. If you want, you can change them as per your needs. Next up, CMS page. Here, you can add the terms and condition as well as privacy policy for your future, for your store future. Last but not least, banners. From here, you can manage all the banners running with your store future. Once you are finished adding the future, close the window. Click on this color palette icon to change the page style and color scheme of your store future. Choose your desired page element, color, and font size. Once you are done, click on save and continue. That's all for now. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates soon as they are live.
Thanks for watching.